Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraftastic and I'm here to work on the October setup in my B6 Stalogy. I am going to be using some of the digitals from my latest DIY planner, The Hollows, which is available to Scrapcraftastic patron elites. This is what the actual size looks like. It comes in half letter and standard size traveler's notebook inserts. And this is the full size printable. So what I have done is pulled out the parts that I think I want to use and reduce the size. So as you can see, this is smaller. So I also printed on a different printer, but anyway, so this one is smaller. I think I changed the height of the page to six and a half. So what I did was open the JPEG in Photoshop and I'm pretty sure you can do the same thing in Canva and I constrained the proportions if you do digital work you'll know what I mean and I reduced the, just the height to six and a half and that changed the width as well so I have the weekly page for this first week I'm just going to do a weekly setup using this and then do daily pages as needed I hope that makes sense so like if I have any appointments this week I just go ahead and fill all that in or the things that I need to remember for the week fill that in and then as the week goes on use that more as journal pages because I feel like I have been pretty much doing that anyway with my weeks it's pretty much become space for journaling because I really don't have a whole lot going on other than appointments here and there. Um, so it's not like I'm on some uh, time restraints or a specific schedule each day or anything like that. So yeah, I think this might work. We're just going to try it out and see. So what I have done, I printed the weekly. I printed the blank notes page in both orientations or directions. I just flipped it over and let's see i printed the line the same way so i flipped it to make it work or just to have you know options okay and i could have reduced the monthly calendar but since i already have a monthly in here which i have not set up yet i figured i would just stick to that because i don't use the monthlies a lot but as you can see i'd already started setting this one up so i'm just going to stick with it so this is the last week that I did here. I'll link to the video in the iCard if you wanna see how I did the setup. Then I'd already started on October. So I guess this is gonna be like my October title page. I need to put an October sticker here. Not sure what I'm gonna do here. I might just add some more deco here. And this is the title page. So this page is this. And this is the blank page, the blank notes page, which is this page. Okay, so, and I just printed this on 24 pound paper because that's what I had close to the printer. You could print it on a lighter weight, 20 pound, if you wanna reduce bulk, the lighter the better, but I'm okay with it the way it is. And I did include the cut marks when I resized it, so, I could cut this easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one down on this page because it's easier to write on the right page right now. I'm gonna use my rotary trimmer. Let's see if I can make some room here. And just follow the cut lines. So, and whatever software you're using, it'll usually give you the option to add the crop marks or cut lines. I know Canva has that option. So I'm not gonna cut all the way through the end of the paper because I want my cut marks to stay intact on all four corners. And if I cut all the way off, then I'll lose those and I won't have my guide. So doing it this way so I don't have to do any measuring or anything like that, just cut line to cut line. paper as flat as possible. Oh, forgot my mic. Sorry about that. Fooey. 
I remembered to turn the fans off, but I forgot to turn the mic or put my mic on and check the battery. I'm going to need that again, but I'll put it aside for now. I'm going to take this out because I am not using it and it is in the way a lot. So I'm just going to take it out. So I'm just going to place glue this in on the page here using a tape runner that I received in Happy Mail. And I'm going to try and get it as close to the edge as I can. I'm not very good at that. Then I'm just going to line it up the way that I want it. Make sure I have it going in the correct direction. And it's not going to cover the whole page, but I can kind of center it on the page as best as I can and place it down. Then I could probably stamp a small monthly calendar, which would really serve no purpose other than aesthetics <laughs> to put right there. I don't know. Uh, I do have these planner words from Kell of a Plan, and I think October might be too big for this. Let's see what it looks like. I think I can squeeze it in there. Let's go for it. So that changes the whole look. I think it looks much better like that. Um, this is Kell of a Plan, Volume 1, Planner Words Lettered by Kell of a Plan. Okay, so there's that. I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place. This is how I work. I'm like, I jump from one thing to the other. All right, let's put some date dots down. Okay, do I want to use the black? I think I want to use the black. And I hope I have all the ones that I need. So this is the week of the 3rd through the 9th. I'm going to have to use this one. These are also available to Scrap Craftastic patrons. After two spreads with the let's get planned love spell kit i still have stickers left so i'm going to use some of these here i had appointment um i have an appointment tuesday is that right yes then another one on thursday Just put it down here. Monday was no school. I'm going to mark that. And I may need to go back and mark the other days too. Let's see. Where's my no school stickers? Mm, let's use these. Because the schools were still having problems with electricity. Some of the schools in the district were. So they just kept everyone out. Um, so I need to go back and note these days as no school too. Um, let's put it up here. So... Wednesday was no school, right? Yes, yes. I think Tuesday they went. Okay. I think that's right. Hopefully that's right. Okay. I pulled out some of my jewel box stickers that I have not used yet that I think might work with this. So just in case, and then these are the script stickers. So I'm going to use these because they're nice and small and will fit in this space perfectly. So I'm going to just see, put grocery run here. Um, I don't need today. Oop. Laundry on Tuesday. 
These fit perfectly in this small space. Let's do vacuum. I need a payday too. Maybe I better move vacuum. Let's see. I'm not going to use treat yourself this time. There's no Hobby Lobby on here. Yeah, no. Let's use the work. That's for every day, but I usually just put it on Monday. And I can do errands on Saturday. So there's no trash sticker here. So what can I do for that? I have little icons. So this is the icons. And I did make these sticker book, sticker storage covers or whatever you want to call them. I will link to how to make those in the description box below. So I can use this for the post office run, which I need to do on Friday. And I put that down crooked, but it'll be okay. Um, let's use this plan next week. I don't use these as much as I should. So, cause they are a little small for me, for what I'm usually doing, but it works great on this size insert. I can use these little money dots for payday. Trash can and recycling bin here I'll probably end up listening to an auto audio book this weekend so I'm just gonna put the headphones here let's use one of these work icons or laptop icons up here with the work text and I think that's all I need out of here yeah there's also something particular happening Wednesday that I want to note let's see I have still got these little leftover bits and pieces. So I'm gonna use this little arrow on Wednesday to note that, and then go ahead and use these. When is the full moon? Okay, so the full moon is Sunday, even though this is like a new moon, I'm gonna use that and note that it is the hunter's moon. Uh, I need a fine pen like this. Don't look very cute. All right, and then let's take the rest of this little bitty deco off of here and use it. Just put her right there. Nope, let's put it on Friday. And I'm going to take this Happy Halloween and use it over here. I'm not sure that I put that down straight. So basically, I have header strips and the washi strip left. So now's the time that I really could use one of those sticker books. And I have one as an example that was sent to me in Happy Mail a while ago. And I was saving sticker backing papers. And I don't know what I did. I think I might have tossed them when I organized and made my big sticker books. So I think they might be gone. I can't straighten that up. So I figure out what I'm going to do about that. Okay. So back to this week. That is everything I need there. So let's deal with the opposite page. Do I want to use this again? I think I will. I don't know what it is about this one, but I really like the way it looks. So let's try that. So 
So let's try adding this page in. And if you have the appropriate washi tape and you reduce this small like I did, you can go around it with your washi tape. I just found that I didn't really care for that when I did the title pages. Kind of wanted the paper to stand on its, own, on its own, but you could do something like that. I think that would be kind of cool, actually. But I'm not going to try and keep it as simple as possible or maybe even nope wrong colors. It could work, but I don't think this one would work either. Nah, these are just some washies that I happen to have on my desk for something else. OK, so I wanted to use her, but why is she facing the wrong way? <laughs> So I may end up using this one. But these are from Isis Ella Jewels. We've already used a few of these. I think I might add her in just because. Let's place her here as straight as possible and make it as crooked as can be. <laughs> All right, and then I think I can use a this week sticker under her to kind of offset that hard line. Do I have a this week sticker in here? I think I'm gonna cut this apart so that it can go across instead of so much real estate being taken up, up and down. If that makes any sense. So we can go I really didn't want to cover up too much of the text there. This week. There we go. So that works. Let's see if I want to use any of the Lily's. I like reading Lily for this week. I did wash my hair at an unusual time this week. Let's put this down. Lily washing her hair. She's a little large, but I'm going to use her here. Let's see. Maybe if I put her on the edge. Where's the reading Lily? She's a bit large too. But I'm going to put her down here. Because that's like my weekend thing to do. All right, so let's put these away. So then I can decorate or do whatever I want on the rest of these pages if I even choose to do anything further in the week. I'm not sure that I will. And then that just gives me the freedom to have a little fun in this and still have my plans together. I think I wanna put the witch in here too. I got these leftover stickers from Coco's Vision. But I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to use her. That's cute right there. Let's see what else I have in my holidays. Stickers. And then we're going to get back to the monthly in just a moment. Can I use one of these? And maybe I'll come back later and put something down here. I don't know. Maybe a little something right there. A moon or something. Oh yeah, I was supposed to put the calendar over here. Oopsie. Okay, so here are some planner stamps that I have. Uh, I don't think I need those. Uh, but some of these have calendar type things. And they also have like tracker style stamps so like this one is a teeny tiny tracker i think it's not actually a calendar these are all trackers um 
but this is the calendar and I think it's a little big then I also have these that are dated that I have never used and the first was on a Saturday right yeah so this has a Monday start and the Sunday start I have used one of these stamps all right so let's put it on the block I think I want to use this one and then I can still put it here it's gonna be tight but I think I can do it okay So let's take this off. It's very tough. And I think I got this from, oh, I don't remember where. I don't even want to say because I don't remember. But I think you can find these on Amazon. If I can find it on Amazon, I will link to it. So let's try and line this up as straight as possible. And then I want the Sunday start. Let's lay these down together. I think that's pretty cool. So then I can just do it like so. If I can get it right. Okay. So I'm using Archival Ink by Ranger. This is kind of what I've been using a lot of lately. And just to test the stamp since I've never used it before. I'm going to stamp on this sticker paper and then I can always use this again somewhere else if I need to or want to. The stamp's pretty good because I know this was a cheap, cheap, cheap stamp. So Let's see if we can do it again. Let's wipe off any excess ink and... It's not going to be a perfect stamp because of the bulk of the book, but we can try. All right, so this looks a little empty over here, but I don't really have anything to put there. That is my setup. So this is my monthly page. And again, I'll probably come back and put something here. I just don't know what yet. Then this is this week and I can do dailies if I choose or not but that is the setup I'm going to be doing the weekly setup in my everyday planner which is a b6 stylogy in this raspberry leather cover from mlg and co I will put a link to mlg and co and the b6 stylogy in the description box below also i'm thinking about doing a5 next year let me know in the comments what you think about that um i think i need a change and a5 and b6 are my favorite sizes in addition to the standard size traveler's notebook but i think it's time to change my everyday planner i think a5 might be a little big but i'm I don't know. I'm considering giving it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So this week I pulled out all, well, a lot of my Halloween stash. And it seems that I tend to buy Halloween kits. So I have like leftover bits of kits. I have all of these kits that I would like to use, but I would like to use them in a manner that I know may be a little bit boring, but the typical way that you use kits so i'm thinking about how i'm going to do that and then these are digitals that i've shared previously uh, from cella create some from fabulously creative but for today i thought i would keep it very simple because i don't know why i'm in a slump again and in the middle of october it's not good so anywho I printed this out. This is part of a digital journal kit from SS Digital Designs or SS Digital Studio. I'm not sure the name, but I'll put it on the screen and I'll link to them in the description box below. So I just printed this on regular paper and I'm going to use this as one of my pages. And I also printed out the week on one page, which is what I do when I am in a slump in my everyday planner. 
So I printed that out. I've already added adhesive to the back, so we can just go ahead and start putting these pieces in the planner. So this is last week. I didn't, I wrote down everything on post-it notes, so I didn't actually do the pages. I'll have to go back and do that. So I'm gonna skip and leave room for that. Then I'll, I'll go ahead and place this on the page and I was going to put it on the other side but I think it's better over here so I'm just lining that up okay so then I need to do the same thing here so I'm just going to add the adhesive Let's see if I can get this on here as neatly as possible. Let's put the black paper so I can make sure I'm on the edge of the page. I was going to ink the edges too, but I guess I won't. So I think that is good. So when you're in a slump like this, you find you a nice graphic put it on the page and keep it moving. So as far as washi tape, I'm not sure what I should use. Looking at this, this is what I had pulled, but I'm not sure that this is a good choice because I was intending to use one of the kits and it had colors similar to this in it. So I think I'll hold off on that and find something different to use. I think I'll go with those two. Maybe add a little black accent here or there. Let's make this as fun as possible. So yeah, I'm gonna use this natural color. This is Simply Gilded Washi. And let's do the header washi. I'm just going to round this with the scissors as best as I can. Probably should have just went all the way to the edge, but cover that up. Then I'm going to use this Fall Paisley Washi from Simply Gilded. This is the dark green. I think it goes well with the graphic. And let's put this down at the bottom. This time I'm going to go all the way to the edge of the rounded corner. And let's trim that off. I think I want to do some day of the week covers to kind of spice this up a little bit. So I'm going to use these from Piper Paper Company. And just place them like so. Let's use one of these plan next week stickers. These are stickers that I've ordered uh, that I just haven't put away yet. But these are clear, the clear stickers from Piper Paper Company. Now I'm not necessarily recommending them because I know there is a turnaround issue with Piper Paper Company. Um, it doesn't bother me, but I know it bothers some. To me, with their prices, is totally worth it. But again, that's just me. Let's use one of these work stickers. Oh, there was no school Friday. And I didn't mark that last week. So let's go ahead and mark that. Just, I didn't even know. <laughs> it was a teacher's work day. Okay have a grocery delivery tomorrow and also have an appointment tomorrow. Let's 
use one of these sage boxes. I have two appointment things. These didn't cut great, but I'm going to use them anyway. So there is one on Thursday afternoon and one on Tuesday morning. So it's the 10th through the 16th. Let me go ahead and date this. Okay, let's try these. Here we go. So these are my holiday stickers. I probably need to have a separate book for Christmas and um, Halloween because it's, it's too much. So I'm just looking for some suitable stickers, deco stickers to add to my weekly page. Oh, and here is another kit that I wanted to use for Halloween. I have a little idea of something I want to do. We'll see. But let's see what I can find to use. Okay, so I went through my dolls and I think I want to use this doll here. And she is from Chella Creates. And I need to move this Plan Next Week sticker over. So I'm going to use her. And she doesn't have anything to do with Halloween, but I think she works for my spread. So there we go with that. Let's add a few leaves. Probably should have used that plan next week, but that's okay. So I'm going to use this laundry day. This doctor's appointment. And this payday. I think I can use everything on here. So I'm going to use the practice here. Use that there and the to do up here. This is a sampler from Lily and Lolico. Okay, and that's a shop from Etsy. So that is it. That is my spread for the week of October 10th through the 16th. I used a page from a junk journal kit from SS Digital. I'll link to them in the description box below. The washi tape is from Simply Gilded. The insert is a printable available to Scrapcraftastic patrons. The days of the week are from Piper Paper Company. The date dots are available to Scrapcraftastic patrons. And the script stickers other than the to do practice and today are from Piper Paper Company. The doll and leaves are from Chella Creates. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you may be interested in these other videos. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.